Hi, and welcome back to High and Slight Consciousness. My name is Linda, and this channel is about helping you illuminate your light within that empowers you to live in your highest light consciousness. Hope everybody's having a great day, great evening, morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back. Welcome, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about a process that can help you tap into your intuition and it can help you get answers to questions. Questions like, is this supplement good for me? Should I even be taking this? Should I be taking this medication? Should I be going to see this person? Should I be, maybe that's generally not totally the question that you ask, but is it is it for my highest good to see a doctor? Is it for my highest good to see this doctor? Is it for my highest good to, to watch these videos? Is it for my highest good to watch this movie, this show, the news, the TV? Because there are a lot of underlying things when you that are going on when you go to places, see people, do things. And sometimes you just need an answer on a direction or a specific question in your life. So if this is new to you, it's called applied kinesiology. You can look it up. You, you may find some that say it's, it isn't, it isn't valid. It doesn't work. I can promise you, I have seen doctors that absolutely use it in functional medicine and it does work. From my own experience, I'm talking about MDs, regular MDs, doctors, you know, and, and all that. It can help, you know, if there are, they use it in medicine to know if, anything that is not functioning properly within your body the glandular system your physical other organs uh different 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 areas in your body they use it to tap in to figure out what is is going on what so i'm going to talk about two methods today there's many methods to do this i'm going to talk about two today the first one is called the sway method and what it is is you it, this is this is dealing with energy okay universal energy flow and all of that when you use applied kinesiology the source source energy you can say creator god that created this this planet right and and where we are in this in this universe uh in this universe that energy is within every atom of your being so when you ask these questions you you it may take you a little bit to feel that energetic flow but i promise you it's possible so and i'm going to go over the do's and don'ts and maybe like some best practice types of things so it's also called muscle testing so you the sway method has to do with if you can if you have a compass any phone you can put a compass on it in your house or wherever you're at if you face the north this is how I first understood how to do this. If you face the north, because that is universal energy flow. There's some people, they will not live in a house if it doesn't face the north. Because it has to do with, with, with energetic flow. And it does it does make a difference in your life. And, and, and it can be very, very powerful. Okay. So you face the north. Clear out all conscious thought. Take a couple deep breaths. And just see if you can feel in your core. Like underneath, like like where like where your stomach is see if you can feel a pull forward it may be backwards too but f uh, f feeling you pull forward see if you can tap in close your eyes just stop thinking stop that's mindfulness training is when you stop this conscious thought and everything stop thinking tap in is is what what i call it with the intention of you can also ask your God, your spirit guides, your guardian angels and your higher self to come through and show you is this this is part of tapping into your your intuition and practicing that. And it's a very practical method for helping you in your daily life. So here you are. So you're feeling this pull and sometimes you'll feel a full forward, a, a pull forward, excuse me, <laughs> a pull forward that that will let you know that you're ready to receive information. That's also the first question is, am I able to, to get answers on this question? And you'll feel a yes or a no. Yes is normally you feel a pull forward, okay? No is you'll feel a pull backwards, right? 
And I also want to say for some, it may be backwards. Your yeses and nos may be opposite of that. So a yes for you may feel like you're being pulled backwards and a no may feel like you're, you're being pulled forwards or you can just reverse your direction, face the south. Does that make sense? So just so you know, but it absolutely works. So I would do that. A few deep breaths, zero out, tap in. Once you feel a pull forward, then you know you're ready to receive information. Okay, so then it's yes and no questions. I would start out with things that aren't so, you know, like, should I pick up and move, you know, to Alaska? That's probably not the best, the best question. I mean, and you may have those questions in your life, but if this is very new to you, I would start with basic questions. Like, um, I did this with my, with my, um, with my doctor. It was, it was pretty funny, you know, because he'll say, you know, can, can, is she able to be muscle tested? And um, he does it a different way because it's one person to another instead of just you doing it yourself. But and so um, it was, you know, is my name George? You know, so the next time I, I went to see him, you know, we, we were doing it and I said, is my name George or something funny? It was pretty hysterical. But so you just ask a question, you know, is my name Larry? I mean, you know, your name might be Larry. But I'm just saying, if, ask, you know, something like if your name is Susie, you know, ask the first thing is, is my name Susie? So you can practice feeling that energy flow. And you may notice it when you're out and all that other stuff, you'll, you'll start to pick up on all this and how it works, especially if you're a highly sensitive um, empath. So you, you know, is my name Susie, right? If your name's Susie, so then, and you'll feel a pull forward. Okay. Is my name Larry? If you're Susie, is my name Larry? And you'll feel a pull backwards. Now you're starting to get an understanding of how this works, okay? And then you can ask questions. You, you, the way you ask questions is it should be, you know, like if you're trying to understand if you should take a supplement or not, you know, is it for my highest good to take X, Y, and Z? You take the supplement, you know, you know, whatever. Say, say, say this is a supplement. You hold it, hold it in your core right here in your center and you know is this x y and z for for my highest good for me to take and then you'll get a pull forward or backwards and then you can also ask for the dosage on medications because everyone's different they're at a different vibrational frequency they're at a different point in their life you know all that i mean there's, there's generally instructions on things on how to take it but sometimes you may need less than that you may need you may not need as much as what the medication says even even if the doctors prescribe something you know, for you. I mean, I obviously always, you know, get information from physicians if it's a prescription medication. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to say that as a, as a disclaimer for everyone's safety. But so as you start asking these questions and you, you understand how this process works, you can ask questions, you know, I mean, for any, for, for, you know, for anything to help you. The other method and, and how to do this is the scissor method. So like you, you, you take like your, your thumb like you put these two fingers out right I do it this way I'm right-handed um, I think I've heard like you, you you test with your dominant hand like so this is my left hand I know it looks backwards on, on the camera so, so you would do so you would test this way like if you're right hand dominant but I would go with whatever feels comfortable for, comfortable for you so for me I I I test the energy this way on my right hand and I try and you try and make what's called resistance okay so I would say you know um, is my name Linda is my name Linda and I would hold this I'm trying to do this so that you can see it okay so I would hold these like this and then you try and use these other fingers as like a clamp on it to try and feel do you have resistance or do they close really easy okay so you feel resistance that's a yes when they close easily, it's a no. So for an example, I'm gonna say, just, just do do some, something easy. Is, is, is my name Linda? Is my name Linda? I know I can be tested, otherwise I would, don't forget to ask that first. Can I even get information about this question? So yeah, see, I can't, I can't close them. Is my name Linda? Yes, okay. Is my name Marie? Is my name Marie? 
this it's because of my middle name is my name Larry is my name Larry and they'll they'll just they'll just collapse and the more you do this the more you'll understand kind of how that works you'll feel energy flow all that but this it, it's it's a way for you to tap into your intuition and like I said I would also light shield yourself when you're doing this uh, especially if, it, if it's very new to you put yourself in a light shield and then you know like I said ask for your higher self your guardian angels your spirit guides and the original authentic archangels you know like Michael Raphael there's many others but for the sake of time I'm, I'm just give, giving giving you an example and that is a way and a method that you can ask you know questions about different things different foods if is this good you know is this for my highest good for me to eat x y and z is it for my highest good you know um to see x y and z you know whoever just all, all of that and you'll get a yes or you'll get a yes or a no and then you can do you know you can get more information that way with you know with further questions as they as they come up but comment down below if you find that helpful if you have tried it maybe if your answers are you know if if your answers aren't backwards remember like i said now in the scissor method if your answers are backwards a lot of the times it'll be you know is my name linda if my method of answering and you probably wrote it in your soul contract for learning is if is is my name linda and it'll be that's my yes okay what normally is no would be my yes and it would be is my name larry is my name larry and you'll you'll feel resistance for a no hope that i hope that makes sense i hope that helps you can look it up you know um uh, you know like i said all there, there's many different methods there's a, there's the you know this the ring the, there, there's many different methods but I, I feel like the, the sway method, it's not the most useful if you're out in a store, then you got to figure out north. Of it. That's why I told the scissor. Once you get more proficient with it, you know, you can do the scissor method, you know, when you're in a store and, and all that kind of thing. But for the purposes of feeling energy flow, universal energy flow, uh, that is that is helpful. And it, do, it does absolutely work going to be getting more into different methods as far as illumination of your light within you remember that's 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 different it's a different thing it's not it's definitely not not the same but the way this universe was made uh and energy is is definitely a part of it but it wasn't the first part so we're going to be there's going to be more information coming forth on that and like i said i'm going to be creating different methods so that you're able to direct message me on Instagram or uh, I'm going to be developing uh, a, a, a dedicated Facebook page as well and some other things that are going to be I think really really helpful for you as well as a, uh, a guided light infusion meditation it just it just has to be done right and so I'm, I'm, I'm working all that I'm working on all that for everyone and i hope that helps i hope that makes sense comment down below i hope you're having a great afternoon evening night wherever you are in the world and I'm, uh, i will leave you with much love light and peace and i'll say bye for now bye for now until tomorrow hopefully uh no technical issues a lot of that stuff should be solved after after next week so, so hopefully it will be until tomorrow that I'll, I'll be able to post without, without any issues and much love, light, and peace to everyone. And I'll say bye for now.